Hey everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to be watching the fourth episode of the second season of Isekai Smartphone Anime. So, last episode we went on a bit of a book buying spree. Books that I would not personally be interested, interested at all, but clearly have their own, their own demographic that's very happy to get them, so good for them. But yeah, let's jump into episode four and see, see how things go down. So, three, two, one, go. Right. You can just go anywhere with his cheat codes after all. She probably is. You know, where else would she ever want to go? <laughs> there are definitely worse things to be sucked into than books. After this opening, yes. Hopefully, we meet a new wife this episode. We have to, surely. It's like episode 4 already. The fact that one of them is in bed when we see her in the opening. I wonder if that's meant to imply that she's like a sickly kind of character. It's possible. And our title, Upheaval in the Capital and an, an Imperial Princess. It's quite the title, but looks like we have a bit of a problem here. Maybe we came just in time. Yeah, everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Was it just like a bandit attack or a dragon attack? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't ready for that. Oh, that's... That's a girl, I think. Try to tell. No, never mind. Those can be unpleasant, for sure. Sorry I called you a girl, bro. I just, you know, wishful thank you. It's probably the biggest, fanciest room. Okay, that was probably a female voice. I'm not going to guess anymore, but... Dots. Okay, see that's who I thought the last character was. <laughs> but Yeah, good thing we showed up when we did. And wow, she likes green, doesn't she? It's like we're dedicating to the theme. You don't mind me, I'm just gonna work my magic on you, literally. Yeah, that was probably a really scary experience. And that's all it takes. God, she's adorable. I'm more than happy to change that. K 
Get a roll, huh? I like how she dual wields. So please don't stab him. He's good. And then I just kind of stumbled upon all this. Well, among other things, yes. Yeah, no problem. You know, can do it. I would like some kind of reward, though. Preferably the princess. Lu Lucia? Do we, do we just call her Lucia? I'd rather get you to safety first. I guess I understand, but... Well, someone's on the ground. Like, I didn't see much blood, but... Well, he's probably, you know, behind the coup d'etat, I would assume. I guess it doesn't really fully answer the question. Uh, no, neither do I. Maybe you have. It does sound pretty messed up. Well, he's confident. Dark. So you just like literally summon a demon kind of thing? Yeah, I would say so. That's definitely a demon. <laughs> Once it's at the top, that pretty much confirmed it. Oh, yeah. well, there you go. Bracelet of Absorption. Sounds like an item you'd get in a MMO. Well, Toya does have a lot of magic, but this could be a problem. Uh, he has a lot, okay? But it looks like it didn't work. Okay, that is a problem. I mean, Toya has a gun, technically, but he heavily relies on magic. Yeah, there's a the gun. But it does not seem to help. We might be screwed, actually. Well, yeah. you pretty reasonable thinking. Okay, I'm not sure what we do now. He did plan well for this. Maybe we could call reinforcements. Yeah, let's not toss rocks in that glass house. Yeah, we should probably just get out of here for now, honestly. 
Because retreating is an option. A lot of RPGs will have that option for a reason, because sometimes you need to. <laughs> yeah, try to keep up. Yeah, eventually you will get what's coming to you. Just not today. <laughs> yes. You can't block that. <laughs> it is magic that Tenek can use on the ground. <laughs> I guess that's something. <sighs> One more present, huh? <laughs> That's a bit of an uncharacteristic departure for Toya. <laughs> did you did you not enjoy your present? It's just how it goes. Damn. It's definitely not great. Yeah, what does that really leave us with option-wise? I mean... Is some kind of known magic that doesn't really apply as magic? I don't know. <laughs> Toya, yeah, you're being kind of weird. <laughs> okay, we get, we do have a nickname. I can remember that. Lou. Oh. Hey, you mean now, what do you want? And my name's Lou. <sighs> it's nice seeing two princesses meet each other. Yes. He has more than one, though. So there's, there's room for you, too. <laughs> Wasn't that obvious? I guess if anyone could tell, it probably would be her. That's all it takes in anime, okay? <laughs> Yeah, she's pretty great. Yeah, she's not gonna, you know, object to it. <laughs> and she's definitely taller. <laughs> yes, much to talk about. Give these princesses some alone time. Oh! Oh, nice. Yeah, I guess we did kind of talk about that before. About having another child who could change succession. <laughs> that logic is fine. Storage, I need some of that. Hey, her.
<sighs> we should probably get them back then. This is just a problem. But it does explain how they get the, yeah, uh, special items. It all makes sense. <sighs> That's good. Just give me your daughter's hand in marriage and we'll be even. <laughs> they clearly weren't expecting that. Oh yeah, I guess we still need to do that, don't we? Is he a character we have met already? Because I feel like he might be. <laughs> Can I read her mind? <laughs> this is how it goes, don't, don't mind. <laughs> she is really cute. Told you. <laughs> I didn't think he was important. There's another, there, yeah, there's, a, there's a dot. Okay, that makes sense. It's good he was able to, yeah, escape somewhere safe. <laughs> it's, it's, all, it's, it's all good. He's got a smartphone. And them. <laughs> At most of the smartphone, that's the important thing. Yeah, I saw that quiver back there. That's where I came real quick, didn't it? <laughs> That looks very powerful. Like it has there has like a final boss kind of look to it. Go for the head. Okay, gotcha. That makes sense. Bit of a loophole there. Because you could use gravity to get a lot of force going, but that wouldn't really be magic, you know. But. You see, as long as you're not, like, directly at using the magic on them. That was pretty cool. Just smack them down. Yeah, that's all that guy to punish. Chop him in half. Your worst nightmare. 
Well, I did, so... Start the coping and seething process. Do you really think he didn't come prepared? Sludge slime. Okay. Yeah, that could be useful. <laughs> that that is unfortunate. Naturally. <laughs> well, be sure to enjoy that scent. <laughs> so, do you feel bad about your actions yet? Are you reflecting? I'm gonna make him laugh. <laughs> oh, Toy, I didn't know you were so evil. So that's one way to defeat the enemy. Stink bomb. I forgive you. I like both arms up. <laughs> Onisama. No problem. What does he stink? <laughs> That's yeah. I guess I've got him in the end anyway. It shouldn't be that bad, but just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know you had it in you. How do you hear me? Yeah, he didn't leave him a lot of options, to be fair. <laughs> and then it's over. At least we ended off on the Lou, uh, Lou Giggle. Yeah, I don't think any other character has had such a dedication to one color for their character design. The man, the green is real with her. Which is fine, she's quite pretty, so. And there she is. Apparently she cooks. And of course I guess she's pretty dedicated to pink as well, so. But this, you know, she actually has a different eye color than her hair color, so. Gotta love girls just teleporting around you. Okay. Okay. That was the fifth, fourth, yeah, fourth episode of the second season of Isekai Smartphone Waifu Anime. And this episode, we did finally get to meet one of our new fiancés, which is which is great to see. So, because that's what I was hoping for, and I got it, so I can't really complain. We apparently just jumped into the middle of a coup d'etat, which is never, never great, right? I still remember my first time experiencing a coup d'etat in a work of fiction, which is Muff Love Alternative. You know, every time I hear the word coup d'etat, that is always what pops in the front of my mind because, yeah, it left a big, big impression on me at the time. It was definitely a great arc of that muffle of, muffle of alternative visual novel. Really great stuff. But anyway, we had that going on here, and Toya just was unlucky enough to be here at that time. But 
Unlucky for him, lucky for the people that were on the receiving end of the coup d'etat, the princess and stuff, so. And it took no time at all to, uh, for Toya to woo her, essentially. Like, I think it was right about here, where the blush activated. And then we get, like, a great, like, kind of close-up on her face with the blush and, you know, the hand ribbon and all that. Just pretty much showcasing the adorableness right away. Making it clear that she is uh, very much worth taking as a wife candidate. So, no complaints there. But she, being a very noble princess, was more concerned about, you know, like the father and brother and all that. And luckily they're safe too. A little bit of a close call with the father, but we did get in there and get him out. But it wasn't easy. I mean, this guy, something about 20 years of preparation. This devil that's powerful and like absorbs magic and you know can't use magic directly on it and also he has some physical attack blocking thing and just a giant pain really. Luckily we were able to deal with it though. So he thought it was some big shot, had this all figured out, but like a day later they came back and took care of him. So yeah, so much so much time spent on this big old plan just to fail horribly very quickly. So yeah, get wrecked. But it was nice seeing that two princesses meet each other. They both give their long introduction because they've got their full title and everything. So, and Yumina can tell when somebody loves Toya. So she's had that skill honed pretty well, you could say, throughout season one. And then, yeah, a little bit of season two as well, I suppose. Also, Yumina's going to get a little, little sibling, so that's something to look forward to. But... We definitely did confirm that artifacts have fallen down and in the wrong hands, so that's not great. It almost kind of reminds me of a... Uh, what's a good example? Well, there's Shaolin Shodown. It's not an anime. But Shaolin Shodown had these powerful artifacts that would give you some kind of specific power when you wielded them. And the good guys try to get them, and the bad guys try to get them, and they were kind of spread around the world. And, you know, sometimes the good guys would get, get, get it, sometimes the bad guys would get it, sometimes they would change hands, right? So that kind of comes to mind whenever I think about the special magical artifacts spread around sort of thing. I'm sure there's more examples than that, but that's the one that came to my mind first, so I went with that. Shaolin Shonen was a pretty cool cartoon. I mean, I haven't seen it in a very, very long time, so it could just be nostalgia goggles, but I remember liking it at the time. Anyway, I really got off, off, off target there, but... Not really much more to say about the episode than that, just we got a lot of adorable scenes from our new princess character. And I'm, it's good. it's good to have her. We were able to defeat the bad guys, and what more could you ask for? Except, you know, Toya does kind of stink at the end of the episode. That's a little bit unfortunate, but a small price to pay, considering everything that we got done. So, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.